paper cut. This e-byte will help familiarise you with student printing at SHU. There are two steps to printing your work on campus. First, send your file to a printer and then release your print job. Therefore, to print this document, I will go to the file menu, select print and then select the relevant printer. Note that students can print on A4 black and white, single or double sided, A4 and A3 colour, single sided and also onto their media, single sided. In this example I am selecting the A4 black and white printer in RUS D001 and I'll select print. Once the document has gone to the printer, I then need to do select 2 to release the print. I will click on the little paperclip icon at the bottom left hand corner of my screen. Note that my username will already be entered and I will just need to enter my password. Then click login. And you will see that the job you have sent to print will be waiting in the jobs pending release section on Papercut. All you need to do then is just check that the cost is correct and press print. If the cost is incorrect it may be because you have sent it to the wrong printer or it has miscalculated. Therefore please do check. Once you have successfully released your print job you can then collect it from the printer. Your paper printing your paper printing is exactly that. You can bring in your own media, be it paper, card or acetate and print onto that from our printers. To do this, you must select a relevant printer from the print menu. In this example, I have selected the A4 Your Paper black and white printer in C001. Printing from a mobile device. Using the web print function in Papercut, you can print to our printers from virtually any device with internet access. To do this we must select web print from within Papercut and then click on submit a job. Once we have done this we must select a relevant printer. In this case I'm going to select the A3 colour printer in room C001 and then I will scroll down to the bottom and click on print options and account selection. This area allows me to choose how many copies of the document I would like to print. In this case I just want the one copy so I will go ahead and click on upload document. I now need to tell Papercut which document I would like to print. Therefore I will click on browse and select the relevant document. Once I have done this we can upload and complete. You will see that here the job is being submitted to Papercut for release. Once the document has been successfully submitted, the status will show held in a queue. If we click on this link, it will take us to the release section where we can print this document. And that concludes the Papercut eBite. Feel free to contact us for further help and guidance via any of the avenues shown here. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.